Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. My name is Foxy and today I'm going to be showing you how to use a PS4 controller with your PC. So today we're going to need two things which are the actual controller and a USB cable. We are also going to need three applications. This is called DS for Windows. We're also going to need this .NET framework and we're going to need a driver. Okay so let's start by downloading everything. I will be leaving the links for this baby in the description down below. So just click download and it'll start downloading and then you go to this page right here and you're going to check for your windows architecture um how do you do that you simply just open your windows explorer go to this pc right click anywhere where there's, where there's blank space, go up to properties, you'll find system type, and in front of it, there will be which architecture your PC will be in. As you can see, mine is 64-bit, so I'm going to need to have to download the corresponding one, which is x64. If you have a 32-bit system, you're going to need to download this one, and if you have an ARM 64 system, you're going to need to download this one. And let's start downloading, and the last thing we need is this baby right here it's a driver so just head to this link it is available for all types of windows so do not even worry about your architecture just click it and it will start downloading so anyways after your downloads are completed you must see these three files available to you the vgm bus driver the ds4 windows file and the dotnet framework file right click it and then go ahead and select extract to ds for windows and as you can see it is extracted it is no longer compressed we're going to be dealing with this folder from now on so the first thing to do is right click this and run as administrator press yes and this will open up a prompt that will help you install microsoft.net sd key this is important for our file to work just press install it will start installing and as you can see the installation was successful after the installation is completed just press close and then move on to the VGM bus, double click it, press run, wait for it to load. A window like this will open up, just follow the prompt, click next, choose where you want it to be installed, press I agree, press next, click install, and just wait for it to finish installing. Just press finish, and all of the boring work is done. All you need to do is open up this folder right here, go for DS4 Windows, and you will notice a DS4 Windows file right here just double click it and this window will appear so basically if you want to be able to copy this folder the ds4 windows folder onto a usb stick and install it on a different computer press this button right here if you don't need that if you only have one computer that you're going to be using your ps4 controller with just press the updater folder and after that's done it is going to be asking you if you want to be using this program with any other controllers other than the dualshock 4 i'm going to be only selecting this one right here press close all you need to do now is grab your controller grab your usb cable and plug it into your computer let me do that real quick and as you could see it is as simple as that as you could see my controller just showed up right here it is connected via usb you can actually adjust the color if you want to the color of your ps4 lighting and there you go you can just start using your controller right now but just make sure while you're using this do not close the application only minimize it while playing a game so you can actually use it and to prove that this actually works i there's this website that's called hardware tested it tells you let me close this it tells you um how your controller is connected as you can see there's the sony dualshock 4 that's the analog there you go that's all the buttons and this will wrap it up for today's video i hope that this video actually helped you out if it did then be sure to hit that subscribe button because i am very close to 6,000 subscribers and your help will be immensely appreciated so please do not hold out on me on the love if you have any questions at all please do leave them in the comment section down below because i do answer comments i also make tutorials about streaming and gaming and i also make videos about gaming peripherals and gaming monitors check out this video right here if you have a ps5 and you want to know which monitor is best for your ps5 so check out my other videos and with that being said leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye